as you can see, hand planting apple trees is no small job. <laughs> and the reason we're doing these rows by hand rather than using our tree planter that we pulled behind the tractor, which you may have seen in earlier videos, is we didn't want to destroy this trellis that we built a few years ago because it's still in very good shape and it's very expensive to take them down and rebuild them. So this will economize some, even though it's more physical labor. It will save us having to buy more posts and stakes and all of that stuff. So another step before you can plant is to take the residue from the previous tree out. In this case, digging out the root system, the stumps, and what we would call suckers. Those are the little green things that are growing right there right now. So the tree that was there failed and we took it out, but the roots did not die. So have to do that first and then you can plant. So the auger has softened things up, but not necessarily taken all the soil out necessary. So they do that by hand and then put the tree in and you have to be at the proper depth. If you're too deep and beyond the graft union, then that tree will <laughs> root from the top, which is not good. Once the tree is next to the post, and up to the we tie it off with some very flexible rubber ties so the tree will stay bound to the post but can also grow. And you can see the rest of the trellis at the top. We have a wire and the tree clips, the pole clips to the wire there. And that supports the tree because the tree is very small. It's called a fully dwarf tree and it will not be able to support itself if you don't stake it in some way.